Hi guys, this is JT Gravity RC. Welcome back to my channel. You can see I have my Devo 7E and my Devo 10 in front of me. You probably know by now that I'm trying to do something with my smartphone and my Devo 10 and Devo 7E. You are right. What I'm going to do today is to install another simulator and I'm going to show you how to set it up with your Devo 70 and your Devo 10 with deviation. So the simulator that I'm, that I'm going to download today is the uh, Quadcopter FX simulator. So the equipment that you need is an OTG cable and a USB cable that connects to your Devo 70 or Devo 10. So what you need to do, you need to go to the Google App Store Search for uh, Quadcopter FX Simulator Get the free one first So you can then decide whether you want to buy the full version I need to uninstall this first because I've already set it up so the mapping is already done so I want to show you how to do it from a fresh install so I'm going to install this just accept So it should take about a minute or maybe 45 seconds or so to download. I'm going to um, show you how to map up your controller to the game. If you don't map it, it doesn't work. Okay, now that it has been installed, what you need to do is you just open the uh, the game or the simulator okay so you what you need to do is to go into the settings and go into the controller settings here and you need to enable the controller and you click on the controller mapping so you need to uh, move the states to see oh hang on I forgot to turn on my Devo 70 so just turn it on before I start doing the mapping I need to mention that the model you need that is required for Devo 70 and Devo 10 with deviation it's just the stock model ini so you can just load any stock model ini from Devo 70 or Devo 10 with deviation so what you need to do is just go in the model menu model setup then just load my I'm just loading a model 24 and then you scroll down and then you select the protocol and the protocol is USB HID and that's it so this is the model you need that you're going to use to set up the uh, for the game itself so what you need to do you need to move the stick to see whether it's moving correctly or not see the um, the left stick doesn't show that it's moving on the uh, virtual controller so what you need to do but this one is actually detecting the left state the throttle state so what you need to do you need to click on this one it's called unassign just click on it the gear thing that's for the settings yeah.
not sure why. Oh, hang on. So now you go into the uh, settings already. So this is the left uh, vertical state. So just click on left vertical. See? It's moving up and down. If, if I move the state on the Devo 70, you can see that the virtual state is also moving up and down. So if that's the case, you have uh, assigned the left vertical to this state. So it's doing the correct move movement. So you just click back. Sorry. So once you click back, move the stick again. You can see that it's moving correctly now. The left vertical. So the next thing to do is to set the horiz horizontal stick. But if you see that if one, when you move the horizontal stick on the throttle state, the virtual state moves on the right. So that's not correct if you're doing mod 2. So I just want to remind you guys that I'm doing mod 2 mapping. So what you need to do, you can, if you can see the left and right, right horizontal, it's called right horizontal, so this is the one that's moving. So you need to reassign this one. So what you need to do, just click on it. You need to click on it for a while. Okay. So now that it's, it's gone into the right horizontal, what you need to do, you need to assign, assign it as a left horizontal. So you, if you see, when you move the stick to the right, the virtual sticks move to the left, and vice versa. So this is not doing. This is not mapping correctly. So what you need to do, you need to invert the left horizontal stick. So just click invert this one. Choose choose that one. So you can see now it's moving correctly. Right is right, left is left. On the virtual stick. So up down, left right. So now we've mapped out the left stick. So let's go back. So let's move the state and then you can see that it's moving correctly on the virtual uh, controller. So the next thing to do is to map the uh, the aileron state. So let's let's try to map the uh, uh, vertical one first. So if you can see when I move the vertical up and down, there's no movement on the virtual control because it's unassigned. But this one is detecting the state. So what you need to do is to click on this one, this option. I don't know why it's hard to get in, but you just click it for a while. Yeah. So what you need to do is same thing. You move the sticks. You, you need to do the uh, right vertical. So just try the right vertical option first, see whether it's moving correctly. Hang on. Okay. So right vertical. So you see it's not moving correctly because up is down, down is up. So what you need to do in this case is to go right vertical inverted. Choose this one. So when you choose it, it's moving correctly. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So now this is mapped out correctly. Let's go back. So let's see the left and right. Okay, this is the one that's detecting the uh, the right state, left and right. So you need to click on this to assign it. So this so this is right horizontal so what you need to do is try the right horizontal first see whether it's moving correctly so if, if you see that I'm moving right is left left is right so this is not correct so what you need to do you, you need to do the right horizontal inverted so left is left right is right up down up down right left right left so this is correct now 
you know, then you go back. So you just move your states to see whether it's moving correctly on the virtual controller. You can see that it's moving correctly now. So I just put it up here. Up, down, up, down. Right, left, right, left. Up, down, up, down. Left, right, left, right. So it's fully mapped out. So what you need to do is just go back and then let's try this out. So let's click fly. So see up, right, left, your left your throttle up. So as you can see, it's not working properly. So let me move this closer so you can see. Let me reset this. Okay, let's go up. I'm doing right your left your and put the throttle stick down, it's coming down. So I'll go up again. I'm going to do forward pitch, backward pitch, and then right roll, yeah. right roll, left roll. So this is mapped out correctly. So once you've done the settings for your Devo 7e, you don't have to do it again for your Devo 10 because it's already safe in there. So I'm going to show you that it also works with Devo 10. I'm going to turn that one off. Connect the um, USB to the Devo 10. So I'm going to turn this on. Same thing. This is a stock model ini see it works and just reset this so throttle up right yaw left yaw down throttle up again pitch forward pitch back works Drop, right, left, down. Okay, this is how you set up your Devo 10 and Devo 70. And uh, let's go to settings. I want to choose the um, the desert scene because there's no obstacles and just. Just try out the 3D mode. So settings, you can try the 3D mode here. Now let me try the acro mode first. Fly. So this is line of sight. Okay, let's do the acro mode. No, let's do the 3D mode. Just to test this. Okay, what you need, let me try, see whether I can fly 3D. So you need to put your throttle 
right in the middle and just go up punch out and then just let it roll and then go down you see now it's flying inverted So this is pretty fun. Uh, just go up and then invert it back. Okay, and then oops. Anyway, guys, you can see that it works. So please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. This is JD Gravity RC signing out.